My name is Ezekiel Schmidt. I'm an artist in the Pacific Northwest. I... What do I do? Man. I do a lot. So, I do dream type art. I do surrealist art. I do portrait art. I do figurative art. I paint with palette knives. I paint with regular brushes. Sometimes I just paint with my hands. And I also like to make films. At least, this is what I'm learning right now. So if you go through my channel, you'll see some of my nature videos as well, because I'm trying to branch out into different forms of art. I also used to be a music producer for about 10 years. I produced um, side trance, trance, drum and bass, dubstep, and pretty much anything else that people wanted to uh, make. I made, I think like 180 songs um, for just my own music, Ezekiel, uh, no, at Schmidt Show. Uh, it's been so long since I've done it that I forgot my own band. But yeah, you can look me up on Spotify and stuff. I make some very interesting stuff. Ambient is one of my favorite ones that I used to make to just chill, listen to when I was uh, doing my drawings and stuff. The reason I even got into art at all is because my dad was an art teacher. And growing up, I would always just watch him painting for hours and hours, making all these really cool um, portraits. He would do commissions for people. Um, but he had a very strong tie to religious art, which is why there's a very much an influence of that on my art as well. If you look at it, a lot of it, it comes from mythology or from philosophy, especially a lot of platonic ideas, um, especially in my early work. But later on, as I was getting older, um, I started reading Carl Jung, and he deeply influenced me on having to actually look at my dreams and seeing the symbols within it. Because ever since I was a child, I think my fir first memory of it was being about five years old when I realized that my dreams were like movies and I could lucid dream. And that I didn't know it was called that at the moment, but I could change things in it. I used to call it making movies in my sleep. And then I would see different symbols and different things and I would always try to figure out what they meant when I was younger. But I kind of eventually forgot about it because I just, uh, life happened. I became a teenager. Other shit was more important, <laughs> important. But uh, man, it's been a really wild ride because after I learned um, about interpreting dreams uh, through Carl Jung's book, Interpretation of Dreams and Its Symbols, it's been a long time since I read it. It deeply influenced me into starting to use that in my art. And so I started making things a little bit more dreamlike. And especially some of my paintings are actually directly from my dreams. Um, but I grew up in St. Louis and I always would go to the art museum about every weekend with my dad. And from there, I grew to have a huge appreciation for all the different styles of art. So I've tried to do different things throughout my um, artistic journey. I've been painting for about four years now. And it has been a very weird experience teaching myself how to paint. Because my dad was an art teacher, he only showed me some stuff though. He never forced me into anything. He would just like, if I was interested in something, he would teach me a little bit about it. But most of the time I wasn't actually interested in art for art's sake until a few years ago. I would just doodle and draw and draw stuff from my dreams when I was probably in my 20s. But then from there, it really took off into trying to give it more of a cin cinematic uh, look as well as giving it more meaning, so putting my philo my interest in philosophy behind it as well. And lately what I'm doing is working with different ideas of how to incorporate cinema and the principles that, that you get from cinema and incorporate that into my art. Um, I have no pieces to, that I can show at the moment for that. But if you look back at some of my uh, stuff, you can see where the ideas started to stir. And I've been doing this, I don't know, for about three months now. I have a huge interest in dreams, but especially as they relate to mythology. One of the things that really influenced me after reading Carl Jung was to dive into Joseph Campbell. And I read his books, The Masks of God and Hero's Journey. The Masks of God is probably one of my favorite book series. It has been a huge influence on how I view religion as well as mythology and the way to interpret these things. 
I really appreciate Joseph Campbell's way of correlating different legends and seeing the different themes that have been in human stories for a long time. And that has really influenced how I like to portray my work. I like it to be almost like a scene from a story. I want it to give a glimpse into my philosophy, my dreams, and the themes that I pick up from mythology. And with that, I have been wanting to connect with other people and see what they view from it, like how it grasps them. Because we all have very, very similar dreams. Not every dream is the same, but we all have similar themes and things that we go through that influence us deeply. Things that influence our emotions that we can connect to each other with. And that's what I hope to bring with my art, is a certain kind of connection between us, between the artist and between the viewer. And if you want to see more of my work, I have a ton of it on my website, EzekielSchmidtArt.com. The link will be in the description. And I have a little blog on there. I have a podcast where I used to interview artists. I don't do that anymore, unfortunately, because of the scheduling that I have at the moment. I might pop it up later on in, the, in the, my career, but for right now, it's not going. But I interviewed a lot of local Spokane artists as well as some from around the country and some from a different, uh, couple different countries as well. And I also have on my shop um, different clothing design because fashion is also a form of art. And so I've been learning a little bit about that over the past couple of years as well as gift ideas. Especially since art has been kind of a inflating price for most people, I try to make my art available to anyone at any price. You can get little postcards of my art, you can get the big prints, you can get originals. But I want to make it available for everyone, not restrictive to your budget. So I hope to see you all in some of my next videos. This is gonna be the first one for me, um, redoing my new channel, I guess you could say. Just trying to start off into something new. Going to be doing a lot more cinematic stuff. I'm learning more about film and through this I hope to give things that are more entertaining and edifying. Also, I almost forgot to mention, Monday through Friday at 4 o'clock in the morning, I live stream my art exercises over here at my desk. And if you want to join, that's great if you're up at 4 o'clock in the morning, but I like to listen to music and I just practice my drawing. And it's a way for me to basically hang out with people um, because most of the time I am way too busy to have a chill session. And the way I like to chill is I like to draw and just be in the room with people. So come hang out with me um, Monday through Friday, 4 o'clock in the morning. Or you can check out the videos later on in the channel because it has a little live stream thing there somewhere. <laughs> so go check that out and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.